Good morning vlog. As you can see, it's now 4 13 a.m. I thought I'd start this vlog explaining to you guys my, my daily ritual. If you um don't care about this stuff, I'm gonna put when to fast forward to get past this the logistics of what I'm talking about right now. Because I know this is not going to appeal to everyone. A lot of what our life is, it, it is determined by the things we do every single day our daily habits day in day out and um i know where i'm going with my life i'm like the vision that i have for my life is very 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 clear so what i do i make sure that my daily rituals the things i do on a daily basis align with the goals that i have for my life now let's talk about goals real quick i think every single person should live chasing some sort of goal as you can see i wake up around 4 4 30 every single morning and for the last six months or so, I've been spending the first part of my day working on this program. Oh my God, I have so many things I want to talk to you guys about, but I try not, like, I try not to be so scatterbrained. I've been getting up early in the morning to start working on this program so that I have time to take care of my online clients. So I have time to do my meal plan. So I have time to edit videos. So I had to start sacrificing sleep. Now I don't, I don't want people to think that that's something that I suggest everyone do because it's it has, it has taken a toll on my on my body and on my health. I'm not even going to lie, but it's just a temporary sacrifice for the greater good. So I drink two cups of water and then I read my goal list. Right. And I mentioned that everyone should have some sort of goals. I have my 2018 goal list, things that I want to accomplish by the end of 2018. I read my goal list and then Based on what my goal list is, I choose three things, just three things that I want to accomplish with the day, right? So I write those three things on a separate list and then I visualize myself achieving those tasks and I visualize how I want to feel when I achieve them. I, I visualize how I want to execute them and then I get going on my first task. I usually work for about 30 to 40 minutes at a time because that's all my my ADD allows me to do. And then I'll take probably about a five minute break. Then I'll go back to it. So I use this clock. Oh, sh I can't do that on the vlog. I use this clock right here, right? Because I have issues focusing. And this is something that I've identified and I used to use it as an excuse why I couldn't be productive. No longer am I using that as an excuse. Um, I just found a way to work around it, right? So what I do with this clock, I have a, a I have a specific time goal set to every single task that I do, right? A specific time goal, and um, what I do is, if I am focused and I'm working on that task, I'll start this I'll start this timer, right? So the minute I get distracted, whether I grab my phone, whether I go to the bathroom, whether I go to get a cup of water, I stop this. So if I'm not on task, I stop the timer. And once I get back on task, I start it. And what this does is I'm a very numbers driven person and I, and I realize that about myself. So once I have a goal set, a number goal, like for instance, right now I need to work on the program for six hours, six focused hours a day. I'm working on the program and then I spend another two and a half to three focused hours a day creating programs for my online clients and responding to their questions and then I spend another two hours focused a day responding to comments on all my social media platforms just and this is just to give you guys some insight on what my day is like and what my like my process is like this helps me focus so all the people who have issues paying attention and staying focused get you a little clock this right here is a game changer I used to be a very lazy, unfocused, unmotivated person. And part of my mission with this channel is to is to just not just tell people how to how to, how to be successful cuz that's something I'm still working on, but I want to show you guys like every step of the way I want to show you guys what it took for me to break past my mental barriers because I, I know that's all it is for most of us it's a mental block that we have going on somewhere that's stopping us from progressing 
in whatever area in your life that you wish to progress i'm pretty sure there's a mental block somewhere that's stopping you from living at your highest potential like i know that because i lived with it for 30 years so now a big part of my mission and the mission right and I, let me digress for a second i don't want to get up at 4 20 in the morning every single day i don't want to do that that's not something that i've done all my life but i don't even have to set an alarm clock to get up in the morning it's it's my why and my why is is what fuels me and my why is to to ultimately make an impact on this world and to try to free people from from the the barriers of their mind and just show people how I, I I've done it because I feel like I'm being used as a vessel to do that for people and that why drives me that why wakes me up at four in the morning that why you know along with my children and and me wanting to live my passions you know dogs and cars and, and that's another thing why is it that every time I mention that I want to buy an exotic car that that makes people uncomfortable it, it seems like whenever i express my 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 ambitions it makes people uncomfortable and then they lash out at me like if you can't tell by now that i i know what's important in life like things are not important but the, these things my my house the vision that i have for my house the vision that i have for my cars and my and the life for my family like I'm, these things are not going to define me. I'm passionate about cars. If there were no other person on the planet Earth but me, my wife, and my kids, I would still drive exotic cars. I would still want to have a beautiful home for my family. Matter of fact, there's a clip from my man Andy Frisella that broke this thing down perfectly. And I know, I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm all over the place right now. But I'm just spilling it. I turned the camera on and I'm spilling what's on my mind, what's on my heart. Right? I want every one of y'all. Matter of fact, I'm gonna play the clip real quick. Lots of people are gonna tell you it's not okay. Lots of people are gonna tell you you're greedy. Lots of people are gonna tell you you're materialistic. Lots of people are gonna tell you you have your priorities out of whack. But I'm going to tell you that they are all full of shit. Notice that that never comes from somebody who's actually successful. You don't ever see a guy living in the house that you want to live in or driving the car you want to drive or wearing the watch you want to wear saying, oh man, you know what? You're fucked up for thinking those goals, do you? You only see the people who are unsuccessful in their own goals. You only see the people who use their lack of success as a shield of nobility and try to twist it into some sort of message like, oh, well, I could have those things, but, you know, I choose not to have bull**** You couldn't cut it, and now you're telling other people that they shouldn't do it either. That's the truth. I want every one of y'all to experience life on a level that you are destined to experience it. I think I'm a little too loud. I think I'm waking up, Kimmy. I feel like we were all put here to, to have everything that our heart desires. Every desire that you put into your heart that, uh, that can be used as a tool for your purpose, was put there for a reason. And that's another subject. You have to know your purpose. If you're living right now and you don't know what your purpose is, you're literally, it's like walking around with a blindfold on. You can't strategize your life. You can't ever have like true fulfillment if you don't know why you're here. So I think for anyone who is living right now and they don't know what their purpose is, I think that should be your number one goal to figure out exactly what it is that you were placed here on this planet to do. Like, what was your reason? What was the reason you were created? I really believe that every single person has a reason that they were created. And sometimes it's gonna take, like I used to think it was music. I, th I thought music was my calling, but it ended up not being my calling. And um, and it's crazy how life works. Like a closed door, or an opportunity that you you missed out on, or a mistake that you made, or a relationship that you make, or like there's so many factors that can lead you right to your purpose. But you have to have the awareness. You have to develop the awareness to pick up on it and and spot it. 
once it's placed in front of you because a lot of us miss our callings because we're just focused on god knows what you know we're focused on our issues we're focusing on lack we're listening to that to that voice in our brain that's that's honestly trying to destroy us because if i listen to my mind man my mind tells me some crazy stuff it tells me some really crazy stuff and i've learned to kind of just like objectively look at what my mind is saying or listen to it but not and i'm i'm getting better at this not getting emotionally involved with what my mind is saying because what your mind it's weird, man. Like your mind, your mind loves comfort, right? Your mind loves comfort. But to progress in life, you ha you have to make peace with being uncomfortable. So your mind is literally trying to keep you where you are. If you are trying to progress in life with anything, like whether it's weight loss transformation, any kind of personal development, you're trying to get better at anything, just expect your mind not to work in tandem with you. Trust me, it's not going to happen. The harder you fight to grow, the more your mind is going to work against you because you are now going into uncharted territory and your mind doesn't like that. Your mind is trying to create a world that makes you comfortable. And that's just not how life is. So just learn not to listen to the BS that your mind is going to be telling you. Shout out to the Brick Squad. If you're still watching this right now, that means you really got love for me and that means I really got love for you. And um, I just want you guys to stay tuned and for however long it may take to make the visions that I have in my head a reality, I want you guys to witness every step of the way. Like when me and Cami start having kids, when my business starts to grow, when I buy my first exotic car, when I'm able to, to build a community center back home for the kids who come from the places that I come from and that just don't have the resources when I'm able to just do great things I want you guys to be there every step of the way I want you guys to use me as an example like I come from a broken home where both my parents are I'm not going to get into that I come from an urban community where we don't have a lot of resources I've had teachers look me in my face and tell me that I was never gonna be sh I've had people shot and killed right in front of me I've had to do things that I'm not proud of I'm a felon I want you guys to know that I used to have every excuse in the book why I couldn't be successful in my head I had so many chips stacked against me I had so many people conspiring to hold me down I'm excited because I feel like I got a second chance in life. And I just want you guys to witness, not to show off, but to inspire you because I know a lot of you can identify with that feeling of being trapped in your head. Or you may not even know that you're trapped in your head. Just know that there's nothing, there's no desire in your heart that you cannot make happen. And I believe that from the bottom of my heart, there's nothing you cannot do. As long as your heart is in the right place and you, your, your number one mission is to add value to people's lives, to make people's lives better. I wanna to band together a group of individuals who wanna pursue excellence. That's for the fellas that watch this channel and that's for the ladies that watch this channel. I want us to pursue excellence. I want us to wake up every day pursuing excellence because that's the only way we can live above the BS and we can put ourselves in position to make impact, to give people jobs in order to, you know, to help people who are experiencing hardships, to, to just rise above and, and be a light in this dark society that we're living in right now. Like be a light. And the way you be a light is that you pursue excellence and you set an example for the people around you. And that's just through your entire lifestyle, your being, you just, just radiate positivity and work hard work hard and i don't mean like the busy work i mean do your life's work find your purpose do your life's work i'm gonna end the video right here i appreciate you guys for watching this i know this video is not going to get a lot of views but i don't care i really don't care i want the people to receive this message that are meant to receive this message so whether that's 20 of y'all or whether it's 20,000, i don't care i love you guys and as always i'm just trying to share the wellness so get well and get money